613 new this morning. It's a doctor's office on wheels after being forced to pause for the pandemic. Genesaret's mobile clinic is ready to return. Yeah, John joins us live from that clinic this morning. I know they're excited to get back to helping people here in Indiana, John. Oh yeah, Julia, we are inside that RV clinic and as you can see, it's it's sort of like a doctor's office, right? We got a little waiting room here behind me, the exam room. Genesaret has been using this RV mobile clinic since about 1990. They say they could treat about 20 patients an hour uh, one getting looked at, one in the waiting room, but they are just happy to get back out in the community after being off the streets for over a year. It's taken a lot of hard work. I was able to clean it out, scrub it out, but this mobile doctor's office is ready to hit the streets again. There's a lot of like homeless in Indianapolis and areas that some people don't even know about. So that's our goal to take it and create the biggest community outreach that we can. After a year off due to the pandemic, Genesaret's mobile clinic is back and ready to help Indianapolis's homeless population. Our mission is to offer free quality patient centered health care um, to that population. We realized that we had all these patients that were counting on Genesaret for their, their life saving medications, their blood pressure meds, their diabetes meds, and we had to figure out how to continue to deliver that care to those patients. Behind its resurrection, an incoming junior at the University of Notre Dame Kyle McAvoy. Not every young man wants to spend the summer doing something like this. McAvoy is an Indianapolis area native himself. It's incredibly rewarding um, to say the least. Um, it's honestly awesome that when you volunteer and put yourself in this position, you're going out to feel that you'll help someone else. But many of the times after you hear all these people's life stories, their perspectives on life, you feel that you get more out of it um, than what you were even trying to put in. And inside the RV, you'll find a functioning doctor's office. The nurse's station will be right here. We try to see patients at a very fast rate. We have one in the exam room and then technically one on deck. Um, so one with our nurse taking their vitals um, out there just so that we can keep it a quick process. And the most important part the health care travels to the patients. And it's been a big deal to figure out where to take it. So using data to he spent some time in the office, uh, making a lot of telephone calls um, and trying to figure out where it makes sense to, to get this thing rolling to. So he has done an incredible amount of work in a very short period of time and really has, has you know, made this program operational again. We have clinics stationed around Indianapolis, but the main goal of the mobile clinic is to take it where others that can't be reached can get reached. Yeah, so physicians on this uh, mobile clinic, all volunteers, they're giving you f homeless populations uh, free treatment, free non-prescription medication, um, doing a lot of good. It'll be back up and running July 25th. And Janessa, it says when they roll up to these communities, these homeless communities, uh, there may be a little hesitation to, to get on board and get treatment, right, to go into a doctor's office they haven't been to before. But once they realize the help they're getting, the medication they're getting, uh, all for free. They um, say the, the, the joy, the relief is palpable, guys. Really doing some great work after a tough year. Yeah, once again, John, thinking outside the box to help Hoosiers, always a great thing. Thanks so much, John Duran.